Hubby and I shot for our uh, diet detox thing that we're on. So we're gonna do a whole foods non-process. Try no dairy, but I did buy a little bit of cheese, so you'll see that as well. Uh, low sugar and no red meat diet. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, we're gonna get into the um, to the groceries. See what we bought. All right, so let's start with the produce. So I did get two different types of mushrooms. I got golden oak sliced mushrooms. I'm gonna use these to fry. I'm gonna fry some mushrooms and add this into a homemade tomato uh, sauce. And then I also got portobello mushrooms as well. We're gonna use this as a meat substitute for one of the meals that we make. I get uh, green onions to add to like any sauces or garnishing uh, for salads or anything that we wanna do with that. Uh, tomatoes, I got the uh, white vine tomatoes because I am gonna make homemade uh, tomato sauce um, for like spaghetti, um, squash spaghetti or spaghetti squash, excuse me. So we'll be doing that and then we'll get to the canned and jarred food, but I'm gonna be using this as well as an addition to that. I did buy a spaghetti squash, um, so I'll be using this in the uh, spaghetti squash recipe. I got um, just some regular squ yellow squash because I really do love squash and we'll probably eat this on the side of something, not sure what yet. I got avocados for breakfast. So we can do like avocado toast or um, a few other uh, things um, with that. Got some celery. I did get some petite melody snacking tomatoes just for eating regularly for topping salads and different things. Um, I have parsley. I'm gonna do some chimichurri sauce. I think I, I am gonna release a chimichurri recipe this month as well. Um, just because if you're doing diets like this or detoxing like this, I think it's always good to have nice flavorful sauces that you can use. Um, cilantro, so the cilantro is going to be added to the chimichurri sauce as well as a few other sauces that I'm thinking about making. And then just topping like salads and things with this fresh garnish. The jalapenos because we all need spice in our life. So I'm gonna be using this in a few dishes. I got key limes instead of regular limes. Key limes seem to have a better health benefit to them. And citrus is in season, so we got some nice, beautiful grapefruit that we'll be doing something with. I got some oranges. I'm actually thinking of making ceviche, so we'll see um, how that works. I, I got some kiwi. I bought some plantains as well. Um, I'm thinking about doing some plantains and sweet potato chips. Um, I'm gonna let this get darker before I start on that, and if everything goes well, I'll release the recipe to that. Power greens for salad. We did get frozen fruit for um, smoothies, and we're trying to stick to my cherry, the antioxidant fruits, so uh, cherries, uh, blueberries, and blackberries. We used to do like pineapples and all that good stuff, but we kind of stopped doing that. So I got field peas with snaps. And then we love field peas with snaps. And you can get these for like a dollar, both of these bags. And pop them in with a little chicken broth or veggie broth, season them up, add some herbs and spices, and it's a cute little side meal. You can either cook them on the stove or put them in a the crock pot. Some whole frozen okra. We'll probably add this to our spaghetti squash or we'll add this to something else. I'm not sure for our frozen uh, meats. We got shrimp. I am gonna release the um, spicy garlic shrimp sweet potato recipe um, that we did on the lunch break, which is my um, cooking show we do on Instagram every Tuesday. That I did get wild caught Pacific salmon, and I also got some yellow tuna, yellow fin tuna. Um, I don't normally cook with tuna fish, but I know these are nice and hearty um, steak-like fish uh, fish pieces, and so I'm interested to see how it tastes, if I like it, um, different ways that I can cook it, and so more to come. And, uh, just for like snacking, I did get light tuna and water, so if you are trying to do some type of detox or eat a little bit healthier, uh, try to move away from getting tuna and oil and get the tuna and water. 
Okay, so we are doing low carb, and we did go ahead, and we're trying to stay away from like white flour, cornmeal, that type of thing. So I've been hearing a lot about this Ezekiel bread. It is flourless. It is made with um, wheat, barley, beans, lentils, millet, and spelt. So it should be good. I hear it's very good for your body, your digestive system, and kind of gives you that bread vibe. Um, so you can get it in the frozen section at Kroger's. I think it was like maybe 4 or $5. So it is a little bit pricey on the bread side, but we're not going to do much with this. I think we'll do probably mostly breakfast. Free range chicken stock. Uh, I got capers uh, just to help with added flavor for some of the dishes that I'll be making. We ended up getting some Himalayan sea salt. I got sliced um, olives because, oh, and now we like to do pickled olives as a snack. And then we also got um, hamburger deal uh, chips. So we like to eat these with the olives. That's like a little snack with like some onions or we'll throw it on top of a salad. I mean, it's super good. Um, adds a lot of flavor and texture. I did get almond butter as well. Like I said, it'll probably go with that Ezekiel, that Ezekiel bread. Um, we'll probably use it as a spread in the morning for breakfast. Maybe have a smoothie, some um, a smoothie, some fruit on the side. I got more of the chili paste. This is so good. If you don't um, use a lot of chili paste or you're looking for a good one, please get this bread. It's so delicious. You can put it on anything and it just adds the right amount of flavor to it. I love um, I did get red lentils. I never cook with red lentils, but I got them because I want to try some new things. And um, We got walnuts. I was thinking about even trying the I got Worcestershire uh, sauce. I have soy sauce in the refrigerator. I have poison sauce as well. I was thinking about trying the walnut meat. And then, um, just moving on to more of like uh, dry baking goods and cranberries for like salad toppers and snacks. I got some unsweetened coconut chips for just like topping on top of toppings for snacks as well. I got flaxseed meal um, that we'll probably add to smoothie salads, and I'm thinking of making some type of breading out of that. I got chickpea flour. I mean, I still like to fry foods. Frying is like one of my favorite things, and so um, I'm gonna try to make a, a batter out of this chickpea flour and flaxseed meal, and then I also have like almond milk to go with that as well create a batter and then maybe fry up some mushrooms and see how that works so then chia seeds so add it to our smoothies add it to our salad and parmesan cheese this is the only dairy that i purchased which is surprising because i'm normally walking out the store with like five bags of cheese heavy cream sour cream cream cheese so this is the only dairy that I, I can't got. remember if i talked about the ginger but if not we did get ginger for tea fresh ginger for tea and for smoothies as well. And then we got vitamins. So vitamin D to help with our immune system. And then we bought some elderberry gummies as well to help with the immune system. So y'all, that's everything. We got a ton of stuff and I'm excited to see what I come up with. Um, and excited to share these some of these recipes with y'all. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment in the comments below and let me know what recipes you're most excited about or if you have any ideas of what I could do with all of these goodies.